and from like a system standpoint, um, I highlighted here, like it's basically first principles as you're building up, um, this part of the system and like weaving this in to what you're doing, you want to, you want to like think through this and really like really just think this up from like the, from the ground up. So what I see like marketing teams, sales teams doing is just sort of like copying what other people are doing, right. Whether that's outbound sequences or their messaging on their website, um, you know, you need to think about like what is going to resonate with like the real person that is going to read your stuff and interact um, with your message wherever they are. And, 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 and just by thinking that up from like the ground up as a team collectively together, you'll get to better, like better tactics, better execution than you will trying to like follow what everybody else is doing because they, you know, it's not necessarily working the best that it can work for those other folks. And what you read online is not always the truth. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, um, would love to, uh, to dive into to more detail and take questions and things like that. Hey Dave, super, super interesting presentation. Oh, and also like, yeah, we have a template on this. Sorry. <laughs> we yeah, have a template on this that is not like the generic, like honestly, like super lame, uh, a template that you know is like psychographic uh you know information yeah. this is like real deal like really focusing on what are the what are your personas triggered by what are their pains and frustrations again like at a personal level and then like how do you tra translate that into like product or service messaging right. so i would definitely check these out and so where where can people find that template uh the links are here there you can go on our website um contentcamel.io and we have, they're featured in our resource page. Um, you can obviously search for them uh, on the site. And, and if you get a copy of this deck, you can check those out. Awesome, perfect. Cool, um, so a couple of quick questions from my yeah. side. Um, many B2B sales are a committee sale, right? Like there's, there's a sure. buying committee, right? Yep. And there may be different pain point like for i'll give you an example very personal example for uh, for us at breadcrumbs right often the the go-to-market leaders right the the demand gen leader the cmo wh whoever very revenue focused that's what they want to fix right but there's usually like an ops person or a tech person involved and they're like i got six other projects yeah. right that i got to get done how do you how do you use this this principle in like a matrix type scenario. Yeah. So, so, I mean, yeah, there's always more buyers involved in the decision than you think, right? Like that's a trap for salespeople is they think, Oh, I've got like, I've got a quote unquote champion and <laughs> we've got, you know, and there's, and there's two people that are, that are basically involved in the deal. Well, behind those two people are 10 people that are influenced that deal. Right. Right. I mean, it's going to be like 12 people <laughs> basically like for any significant um, expenditure and you got to get it through purchasing too. Right. right. So, the, the thing to do is every time you have that conversation and this, and again, this is like the not obvious, but super basic play every time you have that, co the, the conversation, because they're going to bring more people in. Ideally they, you know, they bring more people into the conversation. Like, Hey, I'm going to invite my boss and she's go you know, she's, she's going to come check this out. You know, can you show us like a demo, right? They want, they usually go to like something very concrete. What you're going to do is rewind and do it all from the beginning. You're going to rewind and have the conversation like, Hey, this is what we heard, you know, and it's great to meet you, Sarah, but like, Hey, this is what Emily shared are her frustrations and like what she's tackling. And you like literally update the slide. Like the slide is the, the intro. This is the very first slide, right. Of your deck. It's not, you know, it's not like we do this and we solve for this and you can gain all this. And it's the solutions, all this big thing. It's just like literally, Hey, this is what we heard. People are really frustrated about this. Uh, and this is what Emily shared on our previous call. It's there on the slide what resonates with you? Like what are your frustrations? Right. You have to start the conversation so that they're start, they're talking. And then, you know, Sarah just joined the conversation. She's like the next level DM and she's going to start, you know, echoing back, like what's really important to her. And that's what you map to. Right. Right. Next level DM, just so everybody understands. We're talking oh, about the maker, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so as those people come in, you, you want to aggregate, uh, the things that matter to them and then echo that back. Right. Yeah. That's going to, you know, what the boss cares about, you get to replay that back in your follow-up. Yeah. 
you know, what, what the, the individual contributor cares about, you get to replay that back and, and to keep needling that, keep moving that forward, right? Echoing that back. Hey, you said this, right? Yeah. You said this was really important. And you said, this is, this is what happens if you don't solve this right now. Right. This, that's, well, that's going to drive, that's going to drive it. Two more quick questions uh, yeah. before, before we run out of time. One, interesting macroeconomic conditions today, right? Lots of companies, fearful, you know, uh, hesitant to spend money. We're seeing the CFO more often in every deal. Yeah. Um, how, you know, how does this uh, work in, in this situation, like in today's environment? Yeah, I mean, I think obviously, if we, you know, you a lot of times you, you, the CFO is involved, but you can't necessarily speak to them, right? So they are the sort of kind of like hidden persona. I mean, I, I start to build up a pattern of like, what do they care about? Right. What, what's, a, what is, what are they angling for? Um, I mean, they're managing the overall budget purchasing departments, you know, I mean, it's the classic thing like they love to get, they like, they look for discounts. Right. And yeah. so it's the sort of anchoring, playing the game, you know, understanding what, how the purchasing process goes. Um, and the, and the thing is, is that I, I like to think of a different way of like approaching that sort of the end to end sale where you're working backwards and you have all of the materials from like, if you imagine the sale closed and like the post sale state, basically have your deck and have your materials like backing up from that state where, Hey, we've been, it's, you know, it's really successful. CFO signed off on it and you now you're launching it to the team. And then they're giving like the overview of like what, you know, breadcrumbs or content camel or whatever is going to do for the organization. Yeah. And, and if you work that, like if you envision it from like that, that working backwards state, then you are equipping your, they're not really champions, but you're equipping like the coaches and those decision makers to basically present the, the pains and frustrations and the solution to what would be the CFO and like yeah, what, turning what them sellers, right, basically. Exactly. Like turn them into sellers, but like in a really systematic way. Yeah. Right. It's not like the, it's not the gain. Again, it's like not gain messaging. It's, it's not just simply like, this is going to save us 10% or this, you know, we get to do like this thing that yeah. we think is amazing. And they, th yeah. and, the, and the company that's selling to us think it's amazing. It's like, no, like we get to solve, we're frustrated by this every, all the time. This is really painful um, for us, you know, and this is the impact of the organization if we don't do anything. For sure. Dave, I have a ton of other questions. <laughs> yeah. I'd love to dig into this like fear and frustration concept. Maybe you yeah. and I get together and do a webinar or something on that topic uh, one yeah. day from now. But yeah, last question, because uh, we're pretty much at time. Matt yeah. Anderson asks, uh, the pain points you're echoing are found through discussions as a result of a warm lead, or are they the result of a lead gen funnel? It's all of the above. <clears throat> so, I mean, in a systematic approach, this is things break down where, um, you know, marketing and sales, everybody on the front line is, is, is sort of gets siloed and is not aligned. So the, the more kind of s sort of sessions and, and um, parts of the, like a parts of the system that you can implement to start surfacing these insights, the, the pain and the pain conversations are basically happening everywhere. I mean, you, you can do things like if you, if you're like a brand new product and you, and you don't have customers, right. And you have, have nobody to talk to go on like Reddit, go on Twitter, go, go online and like search for what people are talking about. And people will echo their frustrations, you know, online. Um, it does come from conversations like, you know, inbound, you know, outbound conversations that are sourced and you've kicked them off the right way because you've introduced like, Hey, this is what we're hearing. So, and that, that what we're hearing can start with a brainstorm. If you literally don't know, like, yeah. what do you think they care about? Right. And then they'll correct you. Like you'll start having the, literally the first conversation that you have, they'll be like, no, I'm actually, that's, that's not where I'm frustrated. I'm actually frustrated about this. Right. Awesome. Dave, thank yeah. you so much. Great topic. Great chat. Yeah. Um, obviously people can check out content camel online if folks want to get in touch with you directly, what's the best way to, for them to do that? Yeah. So I would, um, I'm on the, on the Slack groups, like kind of online geniuses and super path. So you can, you can direct mess, message me there. It's just Dave at content as well. 
and i'm also on linkedin so yeah i'm gonna feel free feel free to hit me up i think actually right before this i would connected i got like a little alert from linkedin so that's great i happen to check awesome listen everyone thanks for joining thank you again dave 